game now called Last Flop Standing, and I need someone for this game to serve as our timer. Does anyone have a stopwatch on their phone? Yeah, awesome. So in this game, our, our four fine flops here are going to debate a topic of your choice. And I will serve as your debate moderator. At any point when someone's talking, if someone else has a point they want to make, they can clap, I will hear their point, they're going to be brief in it. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why. It's just that you're there. Right? Sure. Yeah. They're going to make their point, and I will rule whether I think their point is valid. If I do rule in their favor, then they take over the debate. The last flop standing at the end of four minutes wins. It's as simple as that. Yeah. So, what shall we have them debate tonight? It can be literally anything. What's that? <laughs> Graphic novels with the Sure. It was uh, Ithacon this weekend, so it's uh, very timely, actually. So, you're going to debate graphic novels versus comic books. And let's start with, oh gosh, um, I feel like the Moon Man's going to know a lot about this. So, Moon Man, you have the, you have your first up on this. When he starts talking, please start the timer. Let's know it's four minutes. Comic books are better than graphic novels. <laughs> uh, okay, there is no debate here. Comic books are graphic novels. Well, you didn't give him enough time to talk, so I'm going to rule in his favor. <laughs> Comic books are in bite-sized pieces. Yes, graphic novels are better. I need more. Oh. Uh, where a graphic novel consolidates a number of comic books, it would take up a bit more time. It's kind of like watching a single show on Netflix versus binging a whole series. So the comic book gives you just that little bit you need every month. Almost like from a drug dealer. You know, you don't want everything at once. I'm sorry. Comic books, graphic novels, they're all very wholesome. And this fellow over here is connecting it to drug abuse? I, I don't think this is appropriate. Yeah, and it is appropriate. You're right. You're this right. is an American and apple pie kind of issue. He's old enough to remember Zap Comics. That's true. And if anything could be said about Zap Comics, wholesome is not it. Anyway, graphic novels are just a fancy way of saying, I don't know what the fuck a Zap comic is, but it's not what we're debating. It's a comic, technically, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, graphic novels are just an attempt to give a high culture gloss to a basically low culture medium. Although comic books can be funny, Popcorn. Yeah! <laughs> Low cultured medium comic books. Comic books. I grew up on Superman and okay. Batman. You're right. Oh, sorry. I grew up on Superman and Batman and Archie comic books, for God's sake. Archie and Chuck and Batman. Robin doesn't have good shorts in the Batman. That's true. That's true. I mean, do we need a more case in point, ladies and gentlemen? Have you seen that man's shorts? I mean, I was acting it up a little bit, but they're pretty bad. Even though, even though he's kind of looking a little bit. man. Uh, he's talking like there's only one Robin. There are several. That's true. They all have different costumes. Some are younger, some are older. Uh, there's someone who moved on and become someone else. And you can't just focus on one guy's outfit. They change your popcorn. Oh, you have to focus on one guy's outfit. And Robin I'm is the reason I'm gay. Okay, no. <laughs> okay. That's true. That's true. Yes, okay, he is. Now, um, I need to hear more of that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so back when Batman and Robin were on TV, I was reading all the comic books, and I was 12, 13 at the time, and when I got to Robin, I felt a stir. Feel up. But it's now that the Red Red Robin comes bop bop bopping along. Now that's true. It's Sweet right. springtime, yes. <laughs> and all those people who've been in, in their cellars working on graphic novels or comic books, getting them to the publisher, they can come out of their little dungeons and breathe fresh air for a change. And it's nice for them. Because they go back to their work refreshed and rejuvenated. And if it's a comic book, they're going to make it more funny. And if it's a graphic novel, <laughs> Yeah, they're not in dungeons anymore. Have you heard of COVID? Everyone is working from home. Yeah, that's true. They're all working from home in their cozy little gaming chair. You know, you got one of those. <laughs> and they're writing and drawing. And hey, that chairs sure aren't cozy. All the money's been spent on comics. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we'll sit on anything, you know. 
It's a bean bag chair, but it's really just a trash bag filled with packing material. Right? It's got low budget because you know the comics have got to be in a bag with a backer. They've got to be in a box to keep the structure going. Hey, you can't just throw anything in there. True comic appreciators will read any comic no matter the condition. Yeah, that's true. I have at least a box full at home, full of comics that are probably been waterlogged, eaten by rats, got cat food all up in them. But I'm reading those anyways because I'm a true fan. Amen. He can't read. That's true. Nah, he just looks at the pictures. Was that? Do you want? Oh. I love it. You like? Where? Smeg farts. <laughs> no, that's wrong. Okay. Yeah, I mean, all he does is look at the pictures, pretends he's the little people he has. No! 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 And I got the distinct feeling you've already contributed, so I will not pass the hat. Make sure you get another count. Yeah.